What's going on everybody? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with a new deck profile for you guys. I First off, let me apologize for this being late. Again, I like to reiterate, I had a lot of commitments over the weekend and I got family coming in over abroad. So that did delay this video until tonight. My apologies. Moving on, we are going to be looking at the newest build of my Gaito Death Count Requiem deck. Uh, my buddy is going to be still Annihilation Black Death Dragon Abigail. We're going to hop right into it. So of course, being the buddy, we're going to be running four copies of Annihilation Black Death Dragon Abigail. Uh, he's our 621. Uh, call cost is Pay Gauge. Uh, all my Black Dragon set spells can't be destroyed nor returned to hand by card effects. And whenever he enters or leaves the field, I get to destroy a Monster, excuse me, had to differentiate between monster and card. Very, very important. Uh, monster of the opponent's field. We're running four of them. Next up, we're running four of the newest Abigails. We are going to be running four copy uh, copies. Uh, Purple Rag of Rune Abigail. Uh, it's a 61 as well. Cog cost is pay gauge. When it enters the field, I gain two life. Now, at the end of my turn, if I have a Black Dragon set spell on my field, I can destroy a card in the opponent's field. So, this is the newest one. I really would have preferred it being the buddy, but unfortunately, only opened two secret packs for Abigail. Um, and I got them, uh, thanks to Four and everybody else in the group. Uh, I would have wished we had pulled one more just so I could make him the buddy, because having the buddy gift on top of gaining three life when he enters the play, or excuse me, two life for a total of three life when he enters the play would have really, really helped. But he is a fantastic addition to the deck because he does gain me the life, and he has that really, really nice controllability of being able to blow up any card at the end of my turn. So we play four of him. Next up, we are running two copies of Ruler of the Battle Zone Abigail. Uh, he's a little weaker than normal than what I would like for an Abigail. Uh, so far, I believe outside of SD, he's the only one with the smaller stats. Uh, aside from the Spare and I believe uh, Abigail at Rest, uh, he's a four-two-one. Uh, he has no call cost, so uh, act uh, counter uh, activate. During an attack on your opponent's turn, you may uh, put this card from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck and pay gauge if you do nullify the attack. So he's another attack null. So I can swing into him, use him as a body in the center. Whenever he gets blown up, he goes to the discard pile, and then he can negate an attack for being put back into the deck and cost of a gauge. So I really, really like him. Um, I'm testing currently out at a 2 of. It seems to be doing okay. I already have a lo lot of nullification as it is, but he just adds to further stalling for me. Next up, we're running four copies of Erbo. Talked about how good Erbo is before. He's really an MVP in the deck. Uh, sizable, but, I mean, kinda. He's a 2 one 4 the reason why you say kind of is because a lot of the numbers we're looking at now are five and sixes very easily in this meta. So he can't exactly block an attack like he, we used to be able to. Uh, when he's destroyed, I can put the top card of my deck into my gauge and gain a life. And then if I have a black dragon set spell on my field, I can gauge a second card. So he essentially can give me two gauge and a life just for uh, being destroyed. Very, very useful. Moving right along, we're moving into another one of our brand new cards. We are running four copies of... Put that down there for you guys. Four copies of Seal Black Crest Dragon Ganmoral. I believe that's how his name is pronounced. I apologize if I got it wrong. Uh, he's a size 0, 2, 1, 1. Uh, I don't want to play him because of his ability. His ability is counter activate. If you have a black dragon set spell on your field, uh, choose a card on your opponent's field, and you may discard this card from your hand. If you do, for this turn, the chosen card gets minus 5,000 power and minus 3 crit. So this is a ridiculously good control piece. Uh, we want to keep him in hand as uh, we never want to play him, really, but we want to be able to have him in hand a bunch, and getting him in hand is going to help uh, control and stall very, very well. He, While he doesn't shut down stuff, uh, 
He does make it very hard for them to hit you with constant high crits or high damage you attacks to clear out your field and make sure that Airbow being the 4k that I mentioned just a moment ago, being able to stay on the field with a very substantial minus 5k bonus uh, in your favor. So I really like him. He's really, really good and helps out the deck tremendously to stall out for that final turn. So of course I'm playing him at a 4 of. Following him, and to round out our monsters, we are running... Four copies of uh, Black Crest Dragon Zillazest. Uh, he has no call cost. Uh, he's a 316. His ability, of course, is when he comes into play, I can pay two gauge and search my deck out for a set spell. Uh, this helps me get um, Black Crest Volcano, uh, Dead Earth Invitation, or the Impact. I, he lets me get whatever set spell I need for the time and put, uh, put it in my hand to be able to play it. We run him out of four because this helps ensure we get the impact as soon as possible. Moving on to weapons, we're running four copies of the scythe. We bump this up from a three of to a four of because I just wasn't seeing it enough. Uh, it's called cost cast or equip cost. Excuse me, is pay gauge. Uh, this can attack even if there's a monster in the center. All black dragons cannot, uh, black dragon set spells on the field cannot be destroyed, nor returned to your hand by the opponent's effects. Then the souls of the cards uh, cannot be uh, put into the drop zone by uh, your opponent's effects. And when this card is when you monster when you attack a monster with this card, uh, the monster is then destroyed. So outright field destruction uh, prevents nullification, uh, prevents bouncing destruction, and taking soul out of it. We got to run it for him. I was just testing it out of three of to see how consistently I was drawing it. I wasn't drawing it consistently enough, so I had to bump it back to a four. Uh, next up, we're running a single copy of Dragon Force style of retaliation. This just lets me res myself against certain decks and destroy a monster on the field. It has a healthy uh, attack of eight crit, uh, eight attack, eight K attack, three crit. Um, so we are going to keep this in the deck just to res ourselves, have some sort of field control. I believe it also gains me life. Does it not? Nope. Uh, they just got a middle of the top five cards of their deck. Every time I blow monster up. With it, swinging with it. Next up, we're going to be looking at our win condition. We are playing four copies of Black of uh, Death Crown Requiem. I've gone over what this does. Uh, filled up each, t each turn at the end of your opponent's turn. After three times, you win the game. That is what this trick strives for. We, of course, running at a four of. Heading into spells. We are going to be, of course, running four black dragon shields. Uh, prevents uh, prevents damage by reducing it to zero and gain a life so long as I have an open center. Uh, very straightforward and traditional shield for any black dragon, darkest dragon world build now. Uh, of course, I went with the Gaito version, so we're running for that. We're still running four copies of Black Dragon Remade. The reason is because our buddy is still Annihilation Abigail. So this lets me keep Annihilation Abigail on the field while it's still considered destroyed, thus triggering its uh, kill effect while keeping it around for just a little bit longer. On top of that, this also lets me keep Airbow on the field in the center while continuously gaining life and possibly to gauge. It has a plethora of uses, so we're running it out of four of Next up, we are running three copies of Black Ritual. Move that to the center. Pardon me, guys. Uh, cast costs, uh, destroy a black dragon on your field. That does not state monster, so it can be any card with black dragon in its name. Uh, put the top card into your deck, uh, into your gauge, gain a life, draw a card, or draw two cards, excuse me. I can only use this once per turn. So this is an all-in-one just for sacking a single monster. We'll probably target Airbow on our turn if we need to. Uh, gets us Gage, gets us Alive, gets us two cards. All in all, really good spell. We're going to run this out of three of. Like any good person running a Darkest Dragon World deck, we're running three copies of Invitation to Dead Ground. 
this is just a very, very useful stall uh, card. It just prevents a whole lot of bad things from happening, like recruiting out of the graveyard, or discard pile, excuse me. And also lets me be able to choose uh, pay to gauge and choose a card on the opponent's field and rest this so we can target weapons, items, for weapons and items are the same thing, um, items and monsters. So we get to just control the board if we have the gauge to pay for it. Uh, we finally ditched obituary, finally. I just said finally twice in the same sentence. Sorry, guys, it's a little late, and it's been a long day at work, but we're going to persevere and keep pushing forward. Uh, Black, We replaced Obituary with Black Crest Volcano. Um, Obituary is a ridiculously good card. Uh, I wish I could keep it in the deck, but Black Crest Volcano I just find is much better because it gets me more than just a card for playing it. Uh... At the end of your opponent's turn, if I have a Black Dragon Monster still on my field, which is very feasible, I can do that. I have Remades and uh, Black Dragon Shields and other various means of keeping them on the board. Uh, at the end of your opponent's turn, I can gauge one, gain a life, and draw a card. So this is kind of like a mini Black Ritual, except I only get to draw one card just for keeping a monster on the field during my opponent's turn. Uh, I just find that more useful than Obituary. I absolutely will never say obituary is a bad card it does wonders but black crest volcanoes just has more bang for the buck so we're running this out of two up for set spells following that we're running two copies of devil stigma uh devil stigma lets me uh sack a monster for Two gauge and a life, so I can shoot down Airbow, I can trigger Abigail, uh, Annihilation Abigail with Devil Stigma, get some life, get a gauge, destroy a monster. Its applications are pretty abundant in this deck, so I ran it out of two of. Uh, we're testing it right now to see if it needs to move on to three, but right now I like it at two of. This did replace Noble Sacrifice, which is in the sideboard, we'll talk about that in a moment. Then the final two cards we got are Voice Removal. Uh, it's cast cost as Pay a Gauge, Call. You size one or less Black Dragon from my drop zone uh, by paying its Call cost. I can only cast once per turn. This is Counter Speed, so this is kind of like Instant Resurrection for my Black Dragons. Specifically, uh, Purple Ragged Ruin Abigail to gain me two life when it comes into play. Um, Annihilation Abigail for when it comes into play, I can blow up a monster, and if the um, if they destroy Abigail by some other means, I can blow another monster up. Uh, it also has very good uh, uses uh, to stall out or screw up an attack phase or just make the opponent have to rethink what they got to do. I'm running it out of two. And then we're getting into our sideboard. Uh, first two cards is Noble Sacrifice. Uh... Pay gauge, uh, destroy a black dragon monster on my field. If I do, I get to gain two life and draw a card. I swapped this out, uh, took this out and put this in the sideboard because of devil stigmas, just to ensure it. But if I need more draw than I do gauge in a certain matchup, I can sideboard in the noble sacrifices. Uh, likewise, I'm running one more copy of voice removal. I can put drop down, um, Black Ritual down to a 2 of, which is probably sacrilege to a lot of people, but Voice Removal does come in handy. Having that third one just means I get to more consistently if I need it, but I don't always, so right now one copy sitting in the sideboard. Uh, I've also got three copies of Darkness Healing in the sideboard, uh, just in case I need more life. I can... Counter, gain a life, I just got to destroy a monster on my field. If I have a Black Dragon set spell on my field, then I get to gain two more life. So I can potentially draw, gain four life just for having a set spell on the field. This is really, really helpful. It also helps that it's counter speed, meaning I can interrupt certain impacts uh, when they cast. So it just really depends on what's going on, what I can do, what I can't do. So I'm running this right now at a three of in the sideboard. I'm also running two copies of the Void Omnilord. 
Uh, this is to help my match up with Chaos uh, and other various matches. It just helps deal some very high burn damage equal to the cost of whatever is destroyed. And with Annihilation Abigail, I can usually chain and get decent burn damage off the opponent. Um, on top of that, so I can swap out um, Battlemaster Abigail uh, for him. Likewise, if I can need to swap out anything, my final two cards on my sideboard are Black Crest Dragon Day Leopard. Uh, this is another Black Dragon remade, so I can also swap that out if I need more to more ways to keep my monsters on the board. If Black Dragon remade and Black Dragon Shield just aren't cutting it on their own, and I want to maintain a board presence, I'm also running uh, Day Leopard. So that is my new updated form of Abigail. Hope you guys like it. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.